Hi, I'm Jennifer Waldy, and we're here at the Trail SPCA. Yes, hello, Adam. And I'm joined by Adam and Danielle. So, Danielle, tell us all about Adam here. Uh, sure. Adam here is um, a Husky Cross, and um, he came to us from the Samuel area. Unfortunately, his family is in the middle of a, a separation, so unfortunately, he did have to come here and is now up for adoption. Um, absolutely wonderful dog. He has one blue eye and one brown eye and uh, totally affectionate he's uh, he's been good with kids I wouldn't recommend him with cats so much as um, it, it's not common for huskies to really like them that much um, but uh, he does know three different languages as well so oh, wow. English French and German I'm told so I, I don't speak the other <laughs> languages very well so I couldn't test that myself but um, um, he's just looking for that right home right now all all right, so Adam's gone back inside and now we have Zena here, who's a very <laughs> rambunctious puppy. So tell us about her. She is. Um, uh, this one here actually came from Haida Kauai. Uh, so she came here and uh, saw snow for the first time. So she's absolutely hilarious when you get her into a, a pile of snow. But she's a Staffordshire Terrier Lab Cross. Her name is Zena and uh, just <laughs> full of love um, <laughs> and very high energy. So she's going to need somebody that uh, is going to walk her lots and uh, maybe some playtime with some other dogs. Um, so, although she's not best in a household with other animals, she tends to want all the attention to herself and sometimes gets jealous with other animals. So um, it's jealousy over the person in the household, the toys, and possibly the food. So if she is out playing with other dogs, it's best not to have those items in the, in the yard with them and a slow introduction, of course. Um, um, and the main reason she came to the shelter as well is because she was into the chicken pen in the neighbor's yard and getting into trouble. So uh, livestock and cats are, are probably not a good idea either. <laughs> she's having fun with us today. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> a little bit of training would probably help for her as well. But you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go play in the snow with Zena, and you guys can head over to Blaine Evans in Cranbrook. Thanks, yes, we're here, as always, joined by manager Brenna Baker at the East Kootenai branch. And this week we've got Nellie, who uh, just had a little bit of surgery, didn't she? Yes, we got Nellie. She was a uh, stray found up Gold Creek, and no one claimed her. A super sweet uh, little girl. But her ear, the tip of her ear was frozen. It looked like it had been frozen. And so the vet had to remove it. So she just had surgery a couple days ago, oh. and she's on the mend and ready to go up for adoption yeah. shortly. How is she taking things so far? She's a little bit whiny and feeling sorry for herself, but she's a very sweet cat. Well, that's understandable. Um, do we have a ballpark age that we figure uh, is here? Thinking around two or so, we're not sure of her being astray, but she was. she's definitely friendly and really loving, so um, we're not sure what her story is, but she will make a perfect uh, kitty for somebody's home. Yeah, I was going to say, she's she's definitely very friendly. She she took to me right away and and started to say hi. She's, she's very, seems very cuddly as well. Yeah, she is. Very sweet kitty. All right, well, if you'd like more information on Nelly or any of the pets that we feature on Adopt a Pet, as always, you can visit the SPCA's website, which is spca.bc.ca slash adopt a pet. I left that part to you. Adopt. Almost caught you off guard, but you got it. Slash adopt. <laughs> Brenna, thanks so much for bringing Nelly by this week. Thank you. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs>